Hi, this is Tim from ATR Soft. In this video, I'm going to show how you can create DXF files where you have geometry on one layer and then bend lines and notes on other layers. To get this working, you need to open up the drawing of your file first. Then you need to perform a SolidWorks Save As. Select the DXF and then the options. With the options open, you can custom map a SolidWorks to DXF file. So you need to enable that one and then you don't have to do anything more at this point. So we can perform the save and I will replace this file, it doesn't matter. And I already have a, a mapping file, but I'm going to delete these ones. So the visible I don't need, the notes I could keep. So now I have the notes that I just write in manually and I have bent lines. Going to the other side, actually I can delete that one as well I guess. So now I have three layers. I have the zero layer, I have geometry and I have bent lines. Geometry I can put in blue color and bent lines I can put in yellow just to have a, a clear view of what is going on. So now I can map these layers to new layers. So I can create a geometry layer and then I can create a bent lines layer. And on the bent lines layer, I can put in notes and center lines in this case. I could create another layer called dimension, put that in a different color. And then I could create over here a dim layer, by layer, and then select dimensions from this one. So now I have created a new mapping file. So I want to save this map file and let's call it something else. So we can call it demo and save that one. Hit OK and hit OK. And then at this point, we're actually going to perform the save. So let's do that. And now if I look at the file, let me just browse to the location, uh, explore. And it's opening up a, a different window. So let me find that one. This is the one that I just created and I will have an error because I have an issue with my, uh, my e-drawings view of it. Ignore that one, please. So as you can see, we have now created a model file well, we have different layers. So we have the zero layer. I can switch that off. I have the bent lines. I can switch those off, but they do not exist in this case. Um, on the bent lines layer, I also have nodes. I can also switch off the dimensions and the geometry. So I have created a DXF file that is working like I would like it to at this point. So let's go back to SolidWorks. I can now do another save as. I can select the DXF. I can go in for the options. I have this one demo in use and I can actually say do not show mapping on each save, but it doesn't matter that much. But now it's the one active, right? So I will cancel out of that one. If I then go into the part file, and do a print convert. Select the batch conversion and DXF with bends. This is going to create a new drawing and hopefully this is going to work just fine. So now I've created a new DXF file and if I open up that one, we can actually see that Stuff is on different colors and layers in that case. So I can switch off geometry or I can switch off the bent lines. Thank you for watching. We are in the life-saving business. We kill your routines before they kill you.